Here at Neocon 2024, we are feeling all of the color, the joy, the excitement. It's better and better every single year, and that really blows me away. We are at Neocon 2024 in Chicago, Illinois. We're happy to be here. Very excited about understanding where the color trends are going for the year. More muted, more subtle colors, more colors with complexity. We're seeing these dreamy, ethereal pastel colors. Some new digital brights coming into play that evoke emotion in people, a sense of joy. Very digital, electric, playful color. Neutral. Warming of neutrals, you get some soft, really sophisticated combinations. Creating a kind of uh, contrast between the saturated tones of the fabric and maybe a glossy metal. And we like when uh, a material uh, asks to be touched. The continued move towards texture, you know, tactile surfaces. You will see vignettes that have stone, leather, glass, metal, fabric, and it's always so well done, like chef's kiss. That kind of softness of a velvet is, is really appreciated, I think. We need something to touch, we need something to feel. So you're seeing these mixed materials come in. To create an emotional connection with a piece of furniture, I mean, how do you do that? Is it just a visual thing or is it also haptic? For a long time, I've been interested in approaching design less from an ocular-centric point of view. I think that we can make design far more meaningful if we engage uh, other senses. Where there's collaboration, there's noise. Where there's noise, there needs to be noise absorption. And people sometimes think acoustics, it's just something with your ears. It's decibel, it's hertz, it's frequencies. It's the full experience and it's immersive design. We're creating spaces that are intentionally sensory. Sometimes you don't even realize that this space just feels good and what is it in here? A multi-sensory space and experience is so important because it's not just what we see, it's not just what we're sitting on. There's a feeling when you walk into it. And that emotion and how it ties to spaces is such a crucial component, I think, to product development and commercial spaces now. People who are working remotely, feeling comfortable in their spaces at home, they want to translate that into what's happening at work. Wellness now maybe is taking a priority role in getting people to come back to the workplace because if they're going to be at a, at a specific place, they want to feel good about where they are. So we're really focusing on making furniture, you know, feel much more like they're at home instead of just a workplace. But how long is the product going to last you? And if you're going to take a tree that's 100 years old, you want to create a product that's also going to last near 100 years. And I think that's part of sustainability that is not talked about enough. The primary thing I noticed was the effort to commit to conscious design. We try to keep the object simple uh, in order to avoid the problem of the fast fashion, fast consuming, you know. The consumer wants to know how the product is created and, and where it came from and what the origins of it were. People sometimes see an element, but if they don't see how it's made, they cannot kind of perceive the value of it. And people are always going to grasp back to the authenticity and things that are crafted by hand. I think there brings comfort to everyone when something isn't quite right, but it's meant to be that way. I think it just makes for a really authentic product. And so I'm really excited anytime I see another manufacturer focusing on the same thing. We are striving every day for zero waste. So by doing that, you have to find new materials, new ways to make things. So designers are being more intentional about the materials they spec. It is no longer just a nice to have, green friendly or sustainable products. It is a must have. We're all here in this whole industry to create beautiful spaces where people want to be. And if you can do that with substrates and materials that are more sustainable, why not?